Hello and welcome to Google Drive in under five. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gmail and talk a little bit about the ways that we can keep track of all the daily activities that we have. It has been said before that our inbox should never be used as a to-do list. So what does Gmail have for us that can be used for a to-do list? We're going to click over here under mail and we're going to see this, the, the drop down triangle and we're going to click on tasks. When we click on tasks, it pops up our taskbar. Our taskbar can be nested down here or by clicking on the arrow, tasks can be brought to be full screen. Tasks is really our to-do list. These are personal to-dos that only we can see. You can't share these with anybody else. To create a task, I'm gonna simply start to type right here on the top in the yellow. So I have my first task and I want to then click on the arrow over here on the right. It's going to ask me what my due date is. I can simply click on this and I can select a due date. And then I can take some notes. Now, when I go back to the list, I can see my to do. I can see my notes and I can see the due date. Let's create another one. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to create another to do. Again, I can select on the triangle, I can put a due date, and I can take my notes. So here you can see I have two tasks, one that's white and one that's yellow. Let's see what happens here. If I go under actions, I can use the tab button to indent one of the tasks, or I can unindent it. I can move it up in the list, or I can move it down. I can also edit the details of the list under the actions bar. There's of course other great things. I can email this entire task list to myself or to others. I can print, I can view completed tasks, or I can sort these by the due date. And of course, if I've completed my task, I can simply check off the box and you'll see here that it has been checked off and it is done. There's of course other great things that you can do here. I can click on the plus button and I can use another task or I can hit the trash can and I can delete a task. I can also click here on this bulleted switch list and I can rename my list. Right now this list is called Jeffrey Bradbury's list, but I can certainly rename it to something else. And you can see here now it says demo list. I can also create a new list. And now I have my demo list and my Skywalker list. Now the important thing to know about these tasks is everything that we do here with the date is going to be automatically linked in and added to our Google Calendar. You can see here that I have one task that's taken care of and one task that I still have to do. Let's open Google Calendar and see where we can find those. So here we are in Google Calendar and you can see that we have our tasks here, we have our demo list, and we have our call Lou Skywalker due on July 26. And right here, we can see that we have our task. We can also see that on the 25th, we had our task about ET and that one here has been checked off. In fact, if I come over here to the Skywalker one and I click off that, we can see our task is done. And then when I switch back over to Gmail, you can also see that it automatically struck through the task. So here's how Gmail and Calendar can work together. One thing of note in Google Calendar, right here under Tasks, we have a drop-down triangle. Tasks and reminders toggle back and forth. So if you happen to be looking at your calendar and you don't see tasks, you're actually gonna have to find it under reminders. You can only ever see tasks or reminders. And that is tasks in Gmail. <laughs>